Yes, good morning, children. So, voice, active and passive voice, we started this yesterday. So, we'll be continuing this. So, yesterday we did like, uh, uh, before that we had learned the difference between active and passive voice. In active, the subject is important, but in passive, action is more important. Okay. So the, when we want to talk about the doer, that is a subject, we write the sentence in active form. And if for us, the action is more important or action needs to be expressed upon, then we use passive voice, right? Then we did like how to change uh, present indefinite into passive voice. So that was like simply the very first golden rule of voice is that here, tense does not change. Okay, tense doesn't change. Present remains present, and past remains past, and future remains future. But what happens? The only form changes, the form of the sentence changes. So there are some changes accordingly. Okay, some changes accordingly. The tense changes are there, uh, not like present changes to past, present remains present, but because the action, uh, when we bring the, when object becomes a subject, then of course the format of the sentence changes. For example, we did present indefinite tense. So the example of active and passive in context of present indefinite, for example, uh, my mother types letters, types letters, okay. So here, what happens? Here it is present indefinite tense. So when I say like my mother types letters very fast, so I mean like my mother does it. But when my, when my purpose is like letters are typed, when I want to point out like letters are typed, not written, then my, I'll say like letters are typed. Letters are typed by my mother, by you, by him, doesn't matter. But here the action is more important that the typing of the letters is done. So here types was present indefinite, that was present form. And here R is also the present form. So tense has not changed. So because the action that uh, object letter is now the subject, okay? And it's not the person, it's the object, it's an agent. So when the action, when the subject, when the agent becomes a subject, then the verb becomes like this in passive form, R typed, letters are typed. When you get the sentence like letters are typed, change into, change its voice when you get, then how will you change its voice? Letters are typed, who types it that you don't know? So by me, then you complete it first by my mother, by me, by you, by him, anyone. Then you will change its voice and I, Type letters. Got it? So that was about the present and definite tense which we did yesterday. Okay, then uh, we did its negative part also because uh, when we do voice, then side by side tenses knowledge that uh, is must. She does not. She does not uh, do her work. She doesn't do her work. So that, but if we change its voice, it will become work. So does not will change into is not done. Work is not done. Okay, work is not done by her, by him. So whosoever the subject is, that will go there. So work is not done. So present has remained present. This is also first form. This is also first form. Okay. And if I say, do you attend online classes regularly? All of you change its voice now. I'll ask anyone to give the answer. 
do you attend online classes regularly write the answer all of you send the answer in chat box all of you send the answer in chat <clears throat> all of you send the answer in chat come on Okay. Yes, are online classes attended by you regularly? Yes, Japji, Jia, Janvi, you people are right. Dipali, yes, correct. Nivedita, are online classes attended by you? Yes, correct. Okay. Yes, many of you sent the correct answers. So the answer is are online classes attended by you regularly that is correct yes 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 are so when we have to take the classes as subject then classes will take the verb as are do is first form and we would require first form of be is am are so are classes or online classes are online classes attended third form by you are online classes attended by you regularly question mark in the end yes a question mark is must in the end otherwise your marks will be deducted yes okay now let's proceed to the next one uh Now next sentence is, now we will proceed to the next tense that will be past indefinite. Past indefinite happens to be past form of the verb or did plus not plus present form and interrogative also remains the same did plus first form and a question mark in the end. So all the past indefinite change into was or were plus third form of verb. You will see that the basic form, the fundamental form of verb will change into third form. And with that, you know, you will use was or were. And here also we are not changing any tense. For second form of verb is called as past form. Was were is also the second form of verb that is past form. For example, she, she got or she bagged second prize in the contest. So change it into passive voice. She bagged second prize in the contest. All of you can send the answers in the chat. Yes, come on. She bagged second prize in the contest. Yes, Anshaya, correct answer. 
Ishani, correct answer. Keshav will send the answer if he's there. Kanish, send the answer. Laksh, Kanish, Hirde. All of you sent the answers, maybe wrong. Rajvinder? Yes, Chia Janvi, correct answer. Japji is also correct. Tanveen, also correct. Navedita, yes, beta, your answer is not very correct. Check your answer. The point is second form or did. They both change into was or were. So she bagged. It is already simple sentence, positive. Why are you making it interrogative? Yes, all are correct. Nubedita, there is something wrong in your answer. When you write wrong answer, only then you will learn what's the correct answer. Well done, Nubedita, for committing the mistake because that is how you will learn how to do it. Yes, Kanish? Bagged. B-A-G-G-E-D. Anandita's also answer is correct. This is... A Yes, Gurshan, correct answer. Nivedita, I want again the answer from your side. Hirde, Laksh, Rajvinder sent the answers. Yes, Navnur, the second prize was backed by her in the contest. That is correct. So the answer is, she bagged what second prize? So this is the subject. Now this is this will become the subject. So second prize was bagged. Okay, because it is second form and second form changes to was or were plus third form. So was we have used and we did it third form. Second prize was bagged by her in the contest in the end full stop yes yes Nivedita now it is correct second prize was backed by her okay now all of you write the sentence I kept my word change the voice all of you I kept my word. Come on. I kept my word. Yes, Kanish, correct answer. Anshya is also correct. Yes, Ishani, correct answer. Chapaji, Janvi, all correct. Anandita's answer, correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, Navnur, correct answer. Dipadi, correct answer. Gurshan, correct answer. What about the others? Are they sleeping? Type fast. Rajvinder, my words are being kept. Rajvinder, wrong answer. That's why I say always be active. Rajvinder, the statement is I kept my word. So here kept is second form of verb. When we have only second form of verb, we change into was or were plus third form. There is no being, there is no being, nothing. So the answer will be my word was kept by me. Or simply you can say word is kept by me, word was kept by me. Yes, Tanveen, correct answer. Gaurav's answer is correct. Dhvani answer is correct. So Rajvinder, send the answer again. Type fast. Come on. Nivedita, I want your answer also. Okay, now write the next question. Uh, children made noise in the class. All of you change its voice. Come on. Yes, Hirde. Very good. My word was kept by me. Now, Hirde, write the answer for this. Children made noise in the class. 
yes kanish correct ishani correct tanveen correct kurshan correct janvi ji are correct anshaya is correct manavi yes correct dhwani correct gorav correct japji correct hirde was noise was yes correct very good hirde check the spelling of noise anandita correct i have not got the answer of rajvinder and uh, laksh jayant also if he is there please send the answer yes dipali correct rajvinder yes correct now navnur correct hirde yes correct answer there hirde now earlier also it was correct only spelling typing mistake might have been there okay so those who are not participating in writing the answer please uh, be attentive now is that clear now the next question is who rang the bell who rang the bell change its voice all of you try to change come on some many children might be already knowing but let me tell you when we get get an answer question with who rang the bell and when we have to change its voice we start like by whom by whom who changes to by whom okay then the tense as it is rang will change into was or were plus third form by whom because of the bell word we'll be using singular that is by whom was the bell rung third form ring rang rung third form will be rung and a question mark will come by whom was the bell rung question mark in the end yes i guess many of you know the answer please check your answer by whom so who will change into by whom by whom was remember because it is interrogative first the verb will come by whom was the bell rung and a question mark okay write one more sentence all of you who gave you this book who gave you this book yes who gave you this book send the answers yes correct manavi very good kanish correct tanveen correct jab ji is wrong jab ji check your answer anandita wrong a little bit wrong hirde a little bit wrong rajvinder wrong anshaya correct okay now all of you check your answer two or three children they need to know this answer many of you already know this nivedita uh, bachche i just now told you like when it is interrogative sentence we put the verb first for example all of you have written this by whom is everybody is correct by whom now the verb will come by whom was then the object will come by whom was this book given by whom was this book given to you and there is one more option by whom were you given this book both are correct you can write in any way by whom were you given this book or by whom was this book given to you so whatever the way you want to choose you can both are correct but remember in both of the cases verb has come first if if this book then was if you then were but verb has come first yes now write the next sentence all of you will be writing the answer without any pressure okay you can take your time write down who wrote this book who wrote this book 
write the answer navnoor same mistake bachche yes kanish correct answer yes anshaya correct anandita correct manavid correct jia janvi correct ah jia janvi a mistake was there uh there are some children are committing the same mistake of putting the uh, dipali bete wrong gurshan correct oh gurshan wrong bachche wrong what as what are the forms of right right wrote written yes gorav correct answer jian chanvi correct rajvinder yes correct answer rajvinder now okay now all of you check your answer hirde your answer did not come hirde has come now by whom hirde's answer i want to check by whom this book was written hirde just now i told you put the verb first put the verb before the subject so first of all by who this you people are writing correct by who this book is the object now this will become subject by whom was this book now verb will come written by whom was this book written many of you are writing this was here to yahan pe likhenge to it will be wrong by whom was this book written is the correct answer by whom was this book written if this is there you must keep it this don't change it into that it's not narration okay now next sentence all of you write down now be careful okay i'm going to give you a little twist who who makes noise in the class be careful and write there is a little change or twist yes manavi correct answer but question mark is not there kanish correct uh -huh. kanish you are wrong kanish is wrong i told you be careful you are not careful kanish gorav even you are not careful wrong answer gorav hirde wrong answer you did not put the verb where is the verb hirde tanveen beta correct partially correct jia janvi is correct hirde hirde now you put the verb but that is also at wrong place and wrong verb gurshan wrong answer you people are not careful not careful children gurshan wrong answer yes anandita correct answer yes dipali is also correct those whose answer was wrong they resend the answer now kar come on yes anshaya correct answer very slow now come on you people type so fast otherwise nivedita wrong answer bachche not you people are not careful when do we put was come on when do we put was when here there should be second form is this second form is this past this is first form then it is first will we use was or were or is am or yes navnoor now it is correct gorav is correct now so you people need to be told like beta here it is present then you put it accordingly so read the sentence carefully so the answer will be by whom noise accordingly will be using singular by whom is noise made 
by whom is noise made in the class question mark in the end by whom is noise made in the class yes gurshan now it is correct so you people were not careful very bad it's not that you know the rules the most important thing is that you people become attentive while writing the answers okay now write next sentence again i'm telling you be careful why did you play break the slate change its voice why did you break the slate write the answer now by whom will not come why will it remain as it is in the beginning start the sentence with why because it it is an interrogative sentence again the verb will come first verb will come before the subject uh manevit correct answer or manevit se pehle the one who wrote that was wrong manevit your answer is very correct very good uh yes kanish your answer was wrong i am speaking the same thing the very mistake you are committing gaurav is correct ansha is correct kishani beta position of the verb is wrong check the position of the verb gurshan correct tanveen correct garima correct jiya and janvi correct hirde beta ji no, don't re uh, don't write the verbs two times did changes into was or were remember this navnur is correct ishani is correct hirde do it again never mind navnur is correct all children are not typing the answers and those who are not typing the answers i'm going to call their parents those who are not typing the answers they are considered as being absent mind it dhwani correct answer all type the answer may be wrong i will not mind yes dhwani correct answer hirde say your correct answer has not come yet type it again even if it is again wrong never mind please type dipali is correct hirde why was a slit yes hirde very good what are the forms of break break broke broken third form of break is broken nivedita correct answer hirde once more make it correct kirtima ji why kirtima do it again mile why after why you will write the verb why do see what's the object here why did you break the slate slate is object here right this slate will become the subject here why did we change into was or were so why was the slate broken by you so the point is why was the slate was pehle aayega and the subject will come later on why was the slate broken by you yes rajwinder yes sir they very good the children those who learn with the mistakes you know they are you know better than anybody else the best thing is that you learn while doing don't just keep on sitting yes okay
Jayant ji, can you answer any question? Lavanya, I have not seen any answer from your side also. Lavanya, Jayant, even Barbie has not sent me any answer. Ishika has not sent any answer. Raghav, you also sent, didn't send, I guess, any answer. Lakshay Sharma did not send any answer. So why are you sitting dummy in the class? Hmm? Okay, kindly be attentive. Okay, now write the next sentence. How do you How do you do it? Change the voice. How do you do it? Come on. Manavid, what happened? One mistake today. Anshya, correct. Gurshan is wrong again. Jia Janvi, correct. Tanveen is correct. Uh, Dipali is correct. Ravanya sent the answer. Ravnur is also again minor mistake. Chalo koi baat nahi. Even Manevit committed this mistake, the one who is a man of grammar. Never mind. Do is V1 Manevit. How could you do that mistake? So again, you will start with how only how is because it is a object, it will become subject. How is it? done by you how is it done okay sometimes you have to say like this how is it done when you don't mean like who did this you say how is it done okay how is it done by you yes navedita gurshan yes correct answer okay correct answer yes now the bell has gone now you people revise we have done only one tense today one new tense yes well well done bache good done 